it's a hobby. It's I've been playing for like eight years now or something, so it's just something I have on the side. My booker took a picture of me sitting there with the guitar with all the photographers in front of me, and I didn't realize kind of how many were there because I sort of go into a different world and don't pay attention to anything, and then I was like, oh, everyone was staring at me. Great. <laughs> When I was 15, I was scouted uh, in a train station in Sydney, but I held off until I was 17 and had finished high school, and then went over to New York for the first time and was a Calvin Klein exclusive. I remember sitting in the car on the way to the airport being like, oh wow, I just did Calvin Klein. It didn't really sink in until actually like a few weeks later that it was all over. I was like, Oh, okay, this is, this is what I was doing. All right, gotcha. I guess I moved out of home when I was 17, and not only out of home, but to the complete other side of the world. So I had to, you know, grow up pretty quickly because of that. Yeah, it has helped out in a lot of regards. I used to not be able to talk to anyone on the phone. Couldn't even, like, order pizza. Had to get someone else to do it. Now, you know, I can totally sort of pay bills, can do all the rest of it. So that's, that's helped me out a lot there. <laughs> I never actually thought that I'd meet someone from like Denmark, Lithuania, like so many countries that you know you know that they're there on a map, but never really thought I'd meet anyone from them. So I kind of learn a lot about different cultures, even if I haven't actually gone there to experience it myself. I want to study medicine. Someone's leading. I'm like, yeah, I'm on the case. When my little brother was born, I like I cut the umbilical cord. I was there for the birth. I was like the whole thing, and so I really wanted to be a midwife for a while after that. And so I'm thinking I still might stay in that category. But my, I'm just starting a science degree right now to keep me preoccupied. You should never really take anything personally. I did it as well like, when I first started. If you ask any model, everyone's been cancelled from a show. I've been cancelled at a show. And just because, I don't know, you don't get booked for one show, it's not the end of the world. It is tough, don't think that it's easy, but it's very rewarding at the same time. Well, you can't see anybody, because the lights are in your eyes. Um, which can be a bit blinding, but you know it means that you're not aware of everyone else being there, which is a good thing. I think about funny things when I'm at. Sometimes it's just like, don't trip, don't trip, don't trip. Or just like, these shoes are really, really painful. But other times I have really deep conversations with myself when I'm walking down there, because it's not, so long as you know my face stays straight, I can have whatever I want going on in my head, which is kind of nice, is you just have like, 30 seconds to be completely yourself and no one's, you know, pushing or pulling you, you're just like walking and you're fine. <laughs>